Interlude 4 on the Ravens' all-time bestseller. Here's a good story that Amazon could never tell about itself, about a book that isn't even available on Amazon. At Harvard Bookstore, the number one bestseller of all time is Make Way for Ducklings. At Book Culture, if you don't count textbooks, it's My Brilliant Friend. At King's Co-op in Canada, it's Kafka's The Metamorphosis. The Book Loft in Columbus has sold more than 10,000 copies of its all-time bestseller, The Alchemist. At Books Are Magic, it's Oliver Jeffers' Hello. At Ann Arbor's Literati, it's probably Maggie Nelson's Bluettes, or at least it was for a while. Here at The Raven, the number one bestseller of all time is a self-published collection of recipes from a restaurant that hasn't served a plate of eggs in almost two decades, The Paradise Cafe and Bakery Cookbook. I don't know why The Paradise Cafe and Bakery closed. It happened in 2003, 11 years before I arrived in Lawrence. The storefront where the Paradise Cafe did business is now a defunct nightclub formerly called Tonic. On the rare chance I stayed downtown late enough for Tonic to be open, I occasionally walked by a single, optimistic, red velvet rope with bored-looking bouncers at its empty head, in front of tinted windows blinking orange and purple alongside vague bass rumbles within. I don't know why the Paradise Cafe and Bakery closed, but headlines from the local paper arranged in chronological order tell a story that feels familiar in many of its notes. Restaurants squeezed by growing competition. Downtown eatery to close for remodeling. Food no longer on tap at Paradise. Downtown cafe to focus on bar entertainment. Lawrence bands start rocking the Paradise. Disgruntled diner, letter to the editor. Workers band together to save Paradise. Barbecue shop may find home in paradise. Owner seeks to sell paradise. Though I never had a plate of hobo eggs and never saw the famous Hawaiian shirts adorning the walls, I feel an attachment to the Paradise Cafe because I shepherd hundreds of its cookbooks out the raven's door every year. Siblings, Steve and Missy McCoy started the Paradise Cafe and Bakery in 1984. In 2011, eight years after the restaurant closed, Missy self-published a glossy, colorful book called The Paradise Cafe and Bakery Cookbook. It featured pictures of the Hawaiian shirts, photos of people wearing Paradise Cafe tees in far-off locales, and all the classic recipes from the restaurant's heyday. There are several different front cover colors, and the plastic spirals binding them together also come in a variety of colors. I'm pretty sure we're the only store in the world that sells the book. Maybe the Merc has it sometimes too, but between the Raven's dusty walls, Michelle Obama has sold a quarter of the books Missy McCoy has sold. It's a bestseller that could only be a bestseller at the Raven. The Paradise Cafe and Bakery Cookbook is not available on Amazon. I'm not sure what Missy McCoy thinks of all this. All our interactions are businessy. I send her an email. She brings me a recycled paper grocery bag full of cookbooks next time she's in town. There's a handwritten invoice, and I mail a check to her country house when I get a chance. I think the first printing was really expensive. I think she has mixed feelings about the end of her time in paradise. I think she's mainly moved on, but people keep buying that cookbook. Last time she came by, she was wearing a Hawaiian shirt, and I asked her if it once adorned paradise's walls. Oh no, she said, this is from Kohl's. I suppose I have a type. I saw her in line at the bank in November 2018, and I told her we were about to run out in the middle of the busy Christmas season. Did she have any more? You took the rest last time, she said. I told her she should do a second edition. Add five or six more recipes. That way people would want to buy it again. I still maintain this idea would work, but she just ended up reprinting 300 more copies of the old version. This was only after I paid for my copies up front to help with printing costs. I pay Missy 18 for each $28.95 $28.95 book, a 38% discount. This is below my normal discount, which is between 43 and 46%, depending on the publisher. So I don't even make that much money on each copy of the Paradise Cafe cookbook, but I wouldn't change a goddamn thing about this book or our relationship to it, except maybe helping put together a second edition. I don't think Paradise Cafe was revolutionary. As far as I know, it was just a place that served good, real food in a Kansas town for a few years. Yet its memory is still a presence in Lawrence. Its archive is stories, knowing glances, a few old shirts, and one spiral-bound, self-published cookbook that people keep buying. One day, Chris came to work wearing a Paradise Cafe t-shirt that his brother had found in a closet. I took a picture of him wearing that shirt while holding up the cookbook. I posted it to our social media. Missy mentioned the post next time she was in. 
She mentioned that she might have some dead stock t-shirts sitting around at home. Missy, I cried, we could sell those. Really? She asked. Yes. I'll send you an email, she said with a shrug. A few hours later, I got the email. Well, I have about 40 t-shirts left when we close the restaurant. They've never been sold, worn, or washed. Most of them haven't even been unfolded. I don't know if you even want to mess with them. I assured her that we did indeed want to mess with them, that they'd be perfect for our table at the upcoming town-wide sidewalk sale. She brought them by a few days later, some of them covered in cat hair from her basement. She still seemed unsure that it was even worth the hassle. Still, she drove a hard bargain. What should we sell them for, 20 bucks, she said? We tried to sell our store shirts for around 15, so I replied. 20 bucks it is, she replied. The sidewalk sale is known for its early morning mobs of bargain hunters. Down the road, people were banging on the locked doors at Urban Outfitters for $10 Nikes. At the Raven, I honest to goodness arrived to find a line of people waiting to buy Paradise Cafe t-shirts.